Hey, it's Danks here. Don't forget to drop a comment. Excuse me, it's ma'am. Like and subscribe and ring that bell. I double dog dare ya. Well, hello there. Uh, it's been a while. How about it? I bet you've been wondering what the hell Danks has been up to. Well, let me tell you. If you saw my last video about the dog shit, that's pretty much it. I've been knee deep in it. I mean, it was pretty crap. Three, four hundred ounce squares, and uh, I've had to put in long hours of digging just to barely keep a hold of the top ten, last uh, tenth place there. Uh, this is a an incredibly vicious leaderboard this time around. A lot of people have a lot of ambition, it seems, and uh, there's some big numbers on the board for the max gold category getting a top 10 max gold this season isn't going to be easy but i'm going to make damn sure when i reset this claim again that i re-roll it a few times until i get something nice and tasty that's where i messed up well not really i mean i i tried to be a hero and be like oh i can I can dig this crappy claim and still get a top 10. Yeah, well, I'm not about digging 10 hours a day. I leave that to uh, that splitting who guy. Uh, splitting who? Uh, whatever. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of feel like an asshole. I mean, I always bash the front end loader. Like, I think in a previous video for this uh, leaderboard, I said something to the effect of, uh, hey, I'm not going to use that. Uh, well, here I am. And the reason I'm using the front end loader is because this entire claim was dog shit. So I needed to bust through it, spas Buchanan, as fast as I could. So that's what I did. And... I'm starting to get into some better gold, not great gold, but I got a nice patch of five, six, seven hundred ounce squares, and I'm going to go back to the upside down digging method here soon. It uh, pays out a lot better. I'd rather dig less time and have better gold. That's my MO. But that's the only reason I'm using the front end loader was so that I could just tear through all this crap dirt. So now that it's almost gone, I should be good. Well, good advice. You know, they say that good advice comes far and few between and it rarely stays between people's ears. A lot of people let it go in one ear and out the other. Just a little tip, and I like to try to throw a tip out in every video. You know, thanks, I'm not an expert here, but I'll just share with you what I've noticed. Video games are funny. They do what a programmer makes them do. So when they're programming a game, bugs sort of come out. People find them, they patch them. One of the bugs with these Frankensteins is that they like to move around. You park them, you line them all up nice and perfect, and then they move. And if you don't catch it, you end up dumping a whole bunch of pay dirt on the bedrock, costing yourself a lot of time and money. So here's the tip for this video. Maybe you already know, and if you do, awesome.
If not, that's cool too. But here it is. Here comes a tip. Leave the conveyor belts running 24-7. Once you turn them on and have them lined up, don't turn the conveyor belts off. And those things will not move at all. They will stay exactly in place. Now, I'm not lying to you. Believe me or not, whatever. Now, here comes all the bitching and moaning and complaining and whining and crying. Oh, but they use too much gas that way. Oh, then I'm constantly filling them up. Look, man, either you're going to constantly move them and line them back up because they move, or you're going to listen to old tanks and just spend a little bit more time and a little bit more gas. You know, it's a trade-off. You do whatever the hell you want. But uh, hopefully this didn't fall on nothing but deaf ears. Somebody out there has to think this is some good advice. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. But there's your tip. Yeah. Okay. So we got a clean up ready. Let's do that. Now, we're going to check the leaderboard here. I'm pretty sure that uh, this clean out will put me back in the top 10 in number 10 spot. So, but yeah. We're going to do this clean out. And I'm going to dig another full clean out. And all with the front loader and you guys can watch that but I'm going to time lapse that and I don't know if there's going to be much more commentary after this clean out right here so you know let's check this out and then you can see my clean out process and yeah. yeah, everybody does a little different that's cool it, it has to be that way uh, you know Now, when I did my last clean out, I kind of screwed up. I forgot to put the Miner's Moss mats back in on the right side sluice box that goes to the gravel pump. So, I caught it, but it was like 10% off from the other side. So, I'm going to have to pull them out and clean them manually. Well, manually pull them out, whatever. You'll see that coming up here soon. But yeah, the uh, four, four to five hundred ounce cleanups is what I've been getting on this crap dirt. So I've had to put in long days digging. It's tiresome, tedious, mentally stressful. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get through this clean out here. You know, I do realize that sometimes in my videos I seem a little pissed off or, I don't know, negative. Like, I don't care. I mean, kind of true. I don't really care a lot, you know, like getting the top ten. I mean, it'll suck if I don't because I put a lot of time into it. But, you know, the competition is what it's all about. But I don't want you guys to get uh, the idea that Danks is just this uh, pissed off, smart mouth son of a bitch. I mean, I want to show my appreciation. I do appreciate you watching my videos. I mean, every view I get puts a little smile on my face. You know. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I got uh, around eight subscribers now, so I guess I could take YouTube a little more seriously. But 
I really don't want to. I pretty much do this and make videos to entertain myself as much as to entertain other people. And if you're not entertained, I understand. I'm not for everybody. You know, not many things in the world are for everybody when you think about it. But anyway, I should probably stop here because I got a special message from uh, this video sponsor. Yeah, I know. That's kind of shocking and depressing all at the same time. Hopefully I didn't bum anybody out too much. Okay, now it's time to fix my mistake. Like I said, I have to pull these mats out by uh, hand because I forgot to take them out of the uh, nuggetator when I started this clean out, so they're a little off cue. Okay, that ought to fix our problem. Everything should be on the same page or pretty close to it. So that way, from here on out, if I don't forget again, things will go smooth. Now, earlier I was saying how everybody likes to do the clean out different. Well, I got a little confession to make. Uh, I did say everybody likes to do the clean out a little bit different, but I gotta confess, I'm pretty much talking about one person who I watch a lot, who plays the game, and that's old man gaming. Okay, I'm not picking on him. Hey, you can do it any way you want, but I'll show you a little something here. Works pretty good. It might save you that little extra thing you do. Yeah, just let me get this uh, set of mats put back in the holders here, and uh, I'll show you. Just uh, reach over to the other side and pull them over and put them into the nuggetator on this side. Instead of jumping over 
moving all six into the opposite side holders, jumping down, pulling all six out, putting all six back in, then jumping back up and moving all six back over again. Yeah, well, they were, do it the way you want, really. Well, there it is, uh, a nice 500 ounce cleanup. Crap dirt with the front end loader. So, you know, I, I do have more footage that I was going to time lapse, but seriously, I'm not putting out like a hour and a half video. But, uh, uh, yes, uh, number 10 spot. We'll see how long that lasts. Probably not very long. <laughs> It's a, it's a tough one this time around, guys, which is a good thing. More competition. It's good to see. It's good to see. I just wish they would maybe do something with the game. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time I do a video. I'm not sure when that's going to be. Uh, hopefully not too far away. But uh, anyhow... Be cool. We'll see ya.